my gosh. Um, really nervous and I don't even know why to make this video it's super unscripted it's not like my typical videos um, I did make some videos lately about a lot of updates that are going on in my life and some other fun things that are coming up but if you are one of my true fans and followers then this video is for you and I titled it I'm sorry and that's what I'm about to tell you over the years I feel like I have been led in different places and paths and if you're new around here I would like to say hello I'm blogging Brandy and welcome to our varsity my university for our viewers in this channel and please be sure to like this video and hit subscribe if you haven't already and tap that little bell icon so you're notified every time I publish especially the next video that I'm about to be publishing after this one so I wanted to make this video I was gonna make it into one and I decided to make it into two because I felt like the things that I needed to tell you were a little bit separate and I wasn't really sure when I was going to share the next video or how I was going to share it and I'm using it in a separate place and it'll make sense soon but I wanted to share this video I wanted to say I'm sorry and part of that is because I feel like over the years I was led in my business to run it a certain way and if you've followed me, I kind of sent out some things about sales calls and, oh, I'm going to start charging for sales calls. Honestly, I was sitting here with my boyfriend on the couch maybe a week or two ago. And I've literally like cried about this and I've thought about this. And I guess I really just wanted to tell you this because it hasn't really set well on my heart. But I started following people years ago that weren't even in the RV space, but they were in the business space and I did learn a lot from them. But recently they posted some things that kind of like disrupted my soul. So like I said, I was sitting here on my boyfriend. I was telling him like, my business is overwhelming. I'm supposed to be taking these sales calls all the time. I can't make sales. Like unless I take these sales calls, then I also am doing these support calls twice a week with my community on top of taking these sales calls. And then these sales calls are really free consultation calls which technically they're just me not even giving you any advice it's just saying hey cool well let me tell you about my university that you can buy into and so I want to say I took some bad advice from someone that I really love and looked up to and I almost like a fan girl of that was like oh you need to sell like this online course 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 like this is all that you should do and um, when I first presented it I really wanted something that people could buy while I was sleeping or something that you could invest into that was maybe be like reasonably priced and it wasn't necessarily an online course <laughs> some of it was just tools and resources and tips and tricks and if you know my story which hopefully you know my story if you don't know my story please 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 watch it below this video I've made a part one part one and part two of my story like an updated version on my new youtube channel my blog and brandy youtube channel which is my like personal youtube channel outside of this one but i started taking these sales calls i created this course i took this advice from someone and if you know my rv life has kind of been like a little bit different i've had six different rvs in the last five or six years seven or eight now I don't know I can't even keep counting anymore but I quit my job back in 2015 February 18th of 2015 from Bank of America Merrill Lynch like I said if you haven't seen my story I gave up my nine to five job my hundred thousand dollar job I sold everything I sold my two hundred fifty thousand dollar condo my expensive whips I had two cars at the time one was to tow my new travel trailer that I bought but then I totaled that and so there was all these things that like happened while I was trying to not only start my RV life but run my business on the road and so the reason I say I'm sorry and the reason I wanted to title this video I'm sorry is because I felt like over these years I've just been like forcing this like course sales calls down your throat <laughs> And so I've lost a lot of followers. And before when I built my business, it was like this friendly, like, hey, I love RV life and I wanna teach you about RV living. And I had this tribe and these followers and I didn't really know what to do with them because my life was supported by my other income streams. I actually made a video about all the different income streams that I've done over the years on my blog and brandy channel, which I'll put a link to below this video. So anything I mentioned, all the links I'll put 
in the description below this video so you can check those out but i just wanted to tell you i'm sorry if I, if you felt like oh she only offers this course and it's this high ticket item which is thousands of dollars i don't want you to think like i'm cheapening my value or doing anything different but there's something that's happening and something that i can't wait to share with you and i really hope that you'll be a part of it so if you unsubscribed from my email list if you unsubscribed from this channel unfollowed me on social media or you felt like this chick just forces her content down my throat and she just sells 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 it's because i felt like i was supposed to because this person or these people that i was following that were like my business mentors they're like this is how you do it and i'm like but i'm not normal i'm a nomad i do things different than you. I'm not a nine to fiver. I'm not a system or I don't want this like nine to five job. Sometimes I like to go off the grid for weeks or days or months at a time. I may not check social media. I may not want to take phone calls. I would like to make sales in my sleep. And that's kind of like how my business worked before I started just going all into our varsity and my online program and saying like I sell this course and I teach you how to be a digital nomad and get into RV life and RVing for bosses and things like that so yes those things still exist they're just existing in a different format or content going forward and something that just feels way more aligned with my soul and how I really wanted to set up my business and honestly I even got an email the other day that I don't want to really repeat and I can't even repeat it almost, but it literally said, stop sending me these effing emails. And I was just like, okay, I already was feeling like this is not how I want to run my business. So I literally canceled all my social media, canceled all my emails that were going out and thought, this is not me. I am not like sales, sales, sales. Like I'm this lovable, bubbly, friendly, fun, emoji person. I'm about RV life and non-traditional, no system. You don't have to live this like systematic life of 401ks and have a house with a white picket fence and get married and have kids you still can do all those things it just doesn't have to be in that order you don't have to be accepted or not accepted by not doing those things and so i wanted to say i'm sorry if you've ever felt like me that i forced something on you or that i was telling you to do something or that even i didn't respond to you in your comments or your emails because one I get very overwhelmed with all my comments and emails, but I do read them. I promise. I have to see at least 90% of them, I hope. But if I haven't responded to them, I'm sorry. I do try to do all that I can to respond to my comments, my emails, my questions. But also there are things that I feel like I should get paid for. <laughs> so some people I just feel like push boundaries with me. For those people, I'm also sorry. There's only so much I can do. You know, I put as much of my life that I can online. I want to be better, but what I'm going to share with you is a different way of how I feel like I'm approaching business, my business um, coming up. And so I just wanted to make this video first to tell you I'm sorry and that I love you if you've ever felt like I pushed something on you or put content out there that was like not it wasn't me it didn't feel authentic I felt very salesy and that's just not me that's not how I wanted to run my business that's not how I wanted to plan my life or do my thing and so What's coming up, I can't wait to share with you. Again, if you haven't subscribed to this channel and you're new around here, please check out my story in the description below. Also, like this video if you're like, hey Brandy, I am totally with you. I hear you, girl. I know what you're saying. I'm picking up what you're putting down. I YK, YK. But I'm excited to share what I'm gonna make a video about next i can't wait to share that with you check the description below like this video subscribe if you haven't already hit the little bell icon to be notified every time i publish a new video yeah i'm a little bit nervous to make the next video but i'm excited and i can't wait to share it with you and i can't wait to share what's changing and what's happening if you didn't watch the last video about all the rv updates be sure to check out that video i'll see you in the next one so i love you i'm sorry and i love you that's what i wanted to tell you